Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Stream Void Podcast, episode 81. Oh, wow. Yes. Very nice. Uh, I am Mikey T, and of course, across from me is Curb Stomped. Hello. Uh, you can find us everywhere under our respected monikers. Just do a hot Google, and we'll pop up yep. first, first and true. second. It's true. <laughs> it is true. Finally. Do it yourself. Do the research. <laughs> do your own research. research you will find out that we are number one in our respective names okay uh this is the stream void podcast it is a show about life and video games and everything in between yes we just talk about whatever we feel like sure do and you can watch this show live on twitch on facebook on youtube on saturday at 11 a.m pst we are recording a little bit later just due to the fact that i had a dentist appointment oh, this morning. the dentist yuck yes Yikes. I like it when I show up to the dentist and they go, oh, yes, very good. Uh, very little cleaning needs to be done. <laughs> oh, perfect. And I go, good. That means I've done my job and I've brushed and I've flossed and and my teeth are nice and clean. Perfect. <laughs> like when that happens. Yes. Uh, but I will ask you <laughs> the question. Yeah. Are you subscribed to the Stream Void Podcast Patreon? Am I personally? Or yeah. are you is this like a theoretical question this is for the a audience? Theoretical question for oh, the well, audience. I'll shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash stream void pod. You can get in there, you can throw some money at the screen, and you can have access to this show the on, on Sunday instead of Wednesday when it normally would come out. Yes. You can have access to all of the bonus content. We record for at least an hour, hour and a half before we even record this show. Yes. And uh, you can have access to even more of us rambling and eating and yeah. <laughs> talking to the chat. Yeah. You know, there's some good stuff. There's some funny moments that happen in there. For sure. Yes. And then you, of course, get access to the post show, mm -hmm. which uh, it's going to be short this week. It's going to be short this week. Yeah. <laughs> even the show we have right now is going to be a little bit short. Yes, we don't have a lot is. of news going on this today. But yes, get in there. Stream Void Pod on Patreon. That's the word. That's the word, Patreon. <laughs> it's a weird pronunciation, but it's correct. <laughs> it is Technically correct. correct. Technically correct. Yeah. Just with, uh, it's hyphenated now. We've oh, hyphenated it. is that what it was? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. So I'll ask you, Curbstone. Yes. How was your week? My week was uh, fine. I uh, I worked a little bit. I didn't go to work on Tuesday because it's Monday night. I was up for most of the night. Just, I don't know. I had pain reminiscent of when I had my kidney stone. Not passing it from my bladder or into my bladder or from my kidney, but like when it was wiggling its way down between the two. <laughs> the old phantom wiggles. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It felt a lot like it. So I was up all night and like it was time for me to get out of bed and get ready for work. I'm like, I cannot fucking work today. Like, I just can't. So I didn't go into work and I just like went back to bed and finally got to sleep and slept for like six hours. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Um and then uh, I worked on Friday and it was like one thirty or 2 and I'm done everything. And I'm like, hey, what's next on the agenda? She's like, I'm going home early today. There's nothing <laughs> to do. I was like, okay, great. This would have been a perfect day for me, you to teach me something. But I guess that's not happening. <laughs> so I went home early and then uh, just worked on YouTube stuff till regular work time was over and uh, did that. So Nice. Yeah. Well, I guess so. It was like I worked a day and a half last week, so <laughs> I don't know how nice the paycheck's going to be, but whatever. And it's like, again, just stupid stuff happening at work where they're, you know, I only work the few days and I come in and there's like three emails about how I have to update the website with this new information. And I'm like, I don't update the website, like take it to someone else. I don't, uh, I'm not the webmaster. <laughs> yeah. I know how to add items to the website for sale and I can, um, deal with all that stuff but i i'm not the webmaster find out who is they can deal with it so that was my work week just a bunch of baloney and there was a shoplifter on Ooh. friday as well the the woman cashier she panicked and didn't page properly so it didn't actually page <laughs> so only the people that went to the shoplifter were the people that could hear her from the front till of the store yeah so anyways i missed it because i was in the back but apparently they had to chase the guy way down the road, like blocks and blocks and blocks. And they finally <laughs> caught up to him and they got the stuff back. It was a guy and a girl. And then when they were all chasing her, 
the woman they kicked out at the same time, but she came back like 10 minutes later and the cashier just let her come in. <laughs> so when they came back with the stuff from the guy, they're like, what are you doing in here? You're not allowed in here. And they kicked her out. <laughs> and I'm like, the cashier just let the woman that they just kicked out back in. And they're like, yep. Huh. It wasn't like she didn't see her. She was right there. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, man. Yeah. So whatever. Uh, and then uh, other than that, I just, uh, I don't know. I edited a lot of YouTube videos or trying to try different things for YouTube and see what sticks and what works and what, what doesn't work. So I uh, found all these recordings I did way back on the launch week of the Xbox Series X when Ooh. I didn't have it <laughs> and I was off work for a week and I was all bummed out that I didn't get my Xbox. I had just played Final Fantasy 13 and recorded the video just because I was playing it. So I've been taking that and trying to make it into something for YouTube. Uh, yeah, I wonder why I saw some Final Fantasy yeah. content in the So Patreon I basically chat. it's basically going to be a story uh like sort of um you know, discovery like when I first played Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy 13, I just was like, yeah, yeah, the story, who cares? I I don't need to read this like essay that they've given me here. <laughs> like there's like the data logs and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't need to read that. The game will tell me what's going on. No, the game doesn't tell you what's going on. <laughs> if you want to know what's going on, you have to read these data logs. So this is kind of like a playthrough where it's a story like discovery and I can talk about how, oh, I understand what's going on now. And oh, this relates to Final Fantasy 13 too in this way. And uh, I've been cutting out all like the battles and the miscellaneous running around and when there's nothing going on basically <laughs> so i took uh i had eight hours over it was like nine hours of video that i had recorded and i cut it down to like three hours i think <laughs> something like that and it's i made video no it's not one i well no that was just when i removed all the fluff yeah and then i took though that three hours and made it into like nine or ten no even more i can't even remember they're about 20 minutes each so there's like a bunch of videos that I'm going to try them out and see how it goes on YouTube nice. anyways. Yeah. And then I found all my, uh, I had some, the dark souls VODs that I had from when I played dark souls. So I'm going to try to, and that one has like my camera on it and everything. So I'm going to try to do something with that for YouTube too. Nice. Yeah. See what works. If it doesn't work, eh, it's fine. <laughs> but I do that on my days off when I'm not working. That's just, I'm working at home. So I'm working on that all day. Yep. That's good. Take a break for lunch, whatever. Do something else. Take a coffee break. But that's if I'm not working, that's what I'm doing. That's how you do it. I'm not sitting around just playing a game or watching a stream or anything like that. I'm treating it like a job since I'm not earning any money at work during this time. <laughs> I should try to do something else over yes. here. So that's the base. That's the the yes. The good the good drive right there. Yes. So it's been going good, anyways. Lots of stuff like ready to go, like. Yeah. I've got stuff for the Tell Me Why video series I've got going. There's They're like up till July that are scheduled or something like that. One a week till July. <laughs> nice. So well, my goal would hopefully be that I can get something out almost every day. Yeah, that's good. A different series every day. That's good. That's the goal. But we'll see how it's going. Right now I have three days a week with a video coming yeah. out. Because I got the Tell Me Why, I have the Dead Space, and I have the sort of uh elden ring videos and they're all different styles too the tell me why is very short 15 minute video edited down to just some commentary and the gameplay and like discussion of what's going on dead space is like the whole chapter so the videos are like over an hour long yep i saw that i've edited out all the like miscellaneous stuff and then the elden ring one is just like here's a short you know, montage of my deaths in this like dungeon, <laughs> me fighting my way through and what I discover. In yeah. There, so they all have different styles going. So nice. Trying it out anyways. I burn up all of my creativity at work. <laughs> That's too bad. Yes. You need to stop that. I don't, can't. Don't be creative at work. I have to. <laughs> nah, don't do it. I have to. Nah, don't. Have you considered, um, Ritalin? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um and then the only other thing i did was played some games some minecraft basically played the alan wake for the game club um that was pretty much it 
really. Yeah, Didn't do too much else. But yeah, editing. Lots of editing. Nice. Still takes forever to deliver a video. <laughs> <laughs> like, Well, I got your new CPU sitting right there. Oh, I need to get about four other parts still, too. So. Yeah, easy mode. I mean, it's not easy mode because I want them all to. I don't want to buy any extra stuff that I don't already have. So, like, I want to use the towers I've got, and I want to use all the motherboards I got, <laughs> and I want to use the hard drives I got. Well, we need to take the motherboard out of your new rig and put it in the other. Well, I don't think it'll fit in another one, really. Well, yeah, because it's a ha- it's a. Oh, a you mean board. the new one? Yeah, your the new new, new, new board one. Yeah, has okay. to go into the other yeah. PC case that doesn't fit anything. Yes, because it's a it's a it's a mini. Yes. So, anyways, and we'll... then we put that chip in it. No, no, we don't. Well, we, put... we got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> that anyways. chip needs to go in your editing editing board. Well, yeah, but that's the thing is like the so that's the thing is like my editing PC right now doesn't take that kind of chip. Oh right, because it's a so it's like a this Intel is what I'm talking board. about. We have to like figure out what we're doing. Uh, no, your new board that you have fits that PC. Yeah, that's and that'll be the editing one. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. my original PC will be the new streaming one for the living yes. room. Yes. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. A lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, we got to swap. There's got to be a lot of swapping going on. Yeah, it on. sucks. And then the other thing is like I have to back everything up and like fucking. So I'm gonna probably reinstall Windows and everything. Hiya! Hiya! Brutal. Yeah, you should definitely start backing everything up now. And I don't then... really have a hard drive. <laughs> we'll just uh, just go get one from. Go go. I work. Go visit your buddies. I worked an hour and a half this this oh, week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I worked an hour and a half this week, Mikey T. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little while then. <laughs> yeah, we're working need, on it slowly. A, oh wait, I got a cooler right there. Okay. That'll fit as well. I got a knock right. to a cooler. I, I got, got the I got graphics card right there. I got the graphics. I got a graphics card. card right there. I got the graphics <laughs> card. The graphics cards are covered. I got three of them. Nice. They're they're, yes. they're covered. Have you even even smelt that thirty no. sixty yet? Oh yeah, I did open it up because I it? I smell it a little. I spun the fan to make sure mine was spinning. <laughs> right, because <laughs> yours was broken. Yes, with the giveaway PC I I did with the thirty sixty Ti. Yeah, the fan was broken on the card, so I had to send that away. Yeah, and get it RMA. Yeah, no, I spun the fan; it was spinning freely. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, anyways, that's about uh, that was about it for my work and week of doing jack shit. Basically. Nice. I got free potato chips at the store. Ooh. Yeah. Did you know if you just put the chips right in your jacket, they're free? <laughs> <laughs> now the app, the app's been giving me free stuff every week. It's crazy. Do you ever look at your PC optimum app? Uh, yes. Do you ever get free stuff? Uh, no. Oh yeah. I got free yeah, those eggs are the free and no name chips, right? And f- no name chips. And I got orange juice and cheese and water. It's crazy. <laughs> Perfect timing when you only work an hour and a half a week. <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, how many points do I have? I think I have three hundred thirty-five thousand points. Oh yeah, I'm saving up for my PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. If they ever have one at Shoppers Drug Mart, yeah, yeah. Three hundred thirty-seven thousand eight hundred fifty. Yeah, I have three hundred thousand ish as well, and I, I, I have to. Oh, that's the other thing is all my parts for my Kirby cosplay came in finally. Oh yeah. So now I have to buy Kirby. And that's like 90 freaking dollars, <laughs> which I mean, it's fine. I got a bunch of subs. That was a sub goal for it. Yeah. So oh, maybe I got that money today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Since I you got, got paid. paid today. I got maybe paid. I got, got paid. Maybe I got paid as well and I can actually do it. So anyways, that's that. I can't I can't really complain too much that I worked a day and a half. It's kind of my own choosing. So, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so whatever. <laughs> but uh, how about yourself? Uh, yeah, it was my first week back to work after my vacation. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, sure was everything right. was taken care of. There's nothing that was left for you to do when you showed up. I mean, it was just more of the same. There was no, there was no backlog. I only oh, had really? like 50-something emails. So That's it? That's it. I figured I'd have over 100. Wow. Only 50 emails. Yeah, I just I wrapped up everything I needed to do in the morning, and I knew the backlog that happened. I wrapped it up in the morning, and then Crazy. I carried on. And then Friday, I got to, uh, you know, it's just more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. And then Friday, I got to uh, work on some stuff that I wanted to work on. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, what do you I mean? I like to work on my, I like to work on Jira and Confluence and get uh, get the tracking software all up to date. Oh, yeah. With adding more features and stuff like that. Oh, you mean actually you got to work on something at work that you need wanted to work at? Yes. Not because you got to do something you wanted to do <laughs> and get paid at the same time? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So I set up a Confluence page, which is essentially a document repository, and I added all of the templates that we use onto it. 
plus a whole ton of other stuff. Sounds thrilling. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I actually almost worked overtime because I was like, what? Oh, yeah, I'll add this, I'll add this. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I'm trying to make it easy so that when, you know, people get hired on or people leave and new people take their positions, it's easier to go through the document repository. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, you know, a job that makes life easier for future, Mike. Yeah, okay. exactly. I just want people to know that, hey, this is how you need to do things now. Okay. Because we actually have one of the guys who had taken stress leave. Mm -hmm. come. He's coming back next week. Yeah. And so I need to bring him up to speed on the whole entire knee tracking system that we have in place. Oh, nice. Which I'm excited to do. Very good. Because I love this tracking system. <laughs> You're such a nerd. I know. <laughs> Well, very good. Yes, and then I keep uh, every day. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start vlogging next week. I'm gonna start vlogging next oh, yeah. week. I'm gonna get the vlog going back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, but I lead such an uninteresting life. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that does that matter though? I don't think it does. I think I just need to do it. And what was the difference between your life now and before? You just got to a different city. Yeah, different cities. But different like, things. who cares? Like, that doesn't matter. Just because you've seen this Strawberry Hill thirty thousand <laughs> times doesn't mean everybody else has. That's true. You can do the exact same thing here that you did there. Yeah. Like, I went for a walk. What did you do? You went for a walk in Cologne and filmed it. Okay, do that here. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the beach, film it. Easy. Oh, gross. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, you can I know. Film all the yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'll just do it just yeah. to get back into the habit of doing it. And just, just do it. Just like record full everything. Full send. Just full send. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> We've solved it. Yes, we did. <laughs> World peace has been acquired. It's true. Yep. And then I uh I was like, all right, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna buy spaceships. Oh man. And so I Rookie bought mistake. spaceships in Star mistake. Citizen. Yeah. And we played that for the first time. What and a game. My mind is so just boggled. Yeah. It's just boggled. You had the they have half a billion dollars yeah. in pledges. And, and how from can it be in this incomplete state? And it's been ten years. Yep. And it, it just feels like it hasn't been in development for that long. No. The bugs were unreal. I know. The the feature set is unreal. Like there's so much stuff in the game, but the bugs are yeah. so numerous and so ridiculous yeah. that I'm like, what is going like NPCs just like pathing yeah. so stupidly mm -hmm. or getting caught in geometry. Like yep. there's this one where it's two NPCs standing right in front of each other. One of them stuck in a bench and the other one's just standing there right in front of them. Mm -hmm. And I go down and I sit on the bench and I look at them when I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. And they're just slowly moving their legs like they're walking, yeah. but they're not moving anywhere. And I was like, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I saw that. Uh, they have full on face tracking and head yeah, tracking. That was interesting. Well, like when you're making your character and I had the head tracking on, I could like my character would start like moving its mouth when I was talking. Yeah. But it was so poorly done. Yeah. Like I would try and smile and my character would make this weird grimace <laughs> face like eyeballs. One eyeball would be like popping out of its head because <laughs> it couldn't see through my glasses that well. <laughs> nice. It's like VTuber. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. This is That's hilarious. Perfect. That's perfect. But it also has its own track IR system within it. So when you're in your cockpit in your spaceship, you can move your head to look around the cockpit. But that's not very good for streaming because no, when you you're like looking look at that chat or looking head. at like the stream and I'm well, like, the, everything's just like freaking out. If you want to turn and look at your head, you have to like look over here but like you have to use your eyes to look back at the monitor and stuff <laughs> yeah. maybe it's good if you have a three monitor setup or something and they're all starfield or starfield star citizen yeah it could be so and uh so had all this on the cities the city i was in uh sector 17 i think as my home place can't remember what it was it had a 17 in it huge city like just getting around this thing was very difficult. Well, and huge to... city, as in it's it takes you five minutes to take the train across it, but yeah, nothing in the city. Um, yeah, the, the city's very sparse. I mean, there's stores and stuff. Yeah, like but that you can't can like to. if you were outside of the train, you couldn't go to those buildings. You fly over. They're just there. For no, a, no, yeah, they're just there for decoration. They're just there for decoration. But the yeah. the it was, I, it was surprising that the loading was really well good. So, like, I go to the train, and then it's just, like, well, seamlessly... Was it really good, though? I mean, the train was obviously a loading screen. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you go... It's, like, a five-minute ride to the spaceport. It's just, like, artificial time-wasting. Well, it's supposed to be more 
close to like simul full on simulator. Oh, of course. I remember where you have my to last simulate your walking of there. Of course, I remember my last train trip to the spaceport took 5 minutes. Of course. <laughs> I mean, it's four and a half. Put in a teleporter. <laughs> You're in the fucking future. There's no teleporters. Okay. No teleporters in the future, not okay. this one. And so you go to the starship, spaceship, you got to summon your ship to one of the hangars. It then that gets delivered to your hangar. You go into the hangar, which is like an elevator trip up. <laughs> Yeah, another loading screen. Another loading screen. You get to the hangar, and it, your ship is an instant space, so, like, you can go in it, and other people can, like, see you inside your ship and stuff like that. And you got to, like, sit in your cockpit. And it took me forever to figure out that you need to call the spaceport to get them to un open yeah, the docking Yeah, I was wondering about that when you were landing it on that other space station. I was like, is it just going to let you fly in there without, like, paging ahead to say you're coming <laughs> in or whatever? You definitely have to page, and then they definitely give you a landing bay number yeah. that you go to. But trying to do hyperspace, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, it would like go hyperspace and make a stupid noise, and and it would start yeah, it was flying. Really stupid. But it would fly you in a weird direction. I'm like, okay, I'm locked into this place, and I'd hit hyperspace, and then the camera would just pan over. The ship would pan over to the right and just go that way. Yeah. Like. This is not where I wanted to go. But you eventually figured it out. I eventually figured out that the head tracking mm -hmm. was completely messing the warp. Oh, really? <laughs> so I took head tracking off because I was like, no, I can't I can't do this looking around thing. And then I just warped fine. Oh, weird. And it was instant. Hmm. Like when I was doing the, uh, the hyperdrive before, it's not really called the hyperdrive. I can't remember what it's called. Mm -hmm. Maybe the ludicrous drive? No. Uh, it would like go fast, but not really fast. Right. Yeah. It would like the numbers would be counting down. The kilometers would count down mm -hmm. at an even rate. That was it was fast, but it wasn't yeah. that fast. But then once I took the head tracking off and hyperdrive actually worked, it was just like almost instantly oh, that yeah. I would warp to the place. Interesting. Like, oh, oh, I have actually got to the place where I need to go. Perfect. And then I did an, uh, a pickup an mission. EVA, extra vehicular. No, an extra what? Well, a spacewalk. I can't remember what the hell they're yeah. actually called. Got a box, brought it back to my ship, some got it delivered. <laughs> yeah. Some box of like weird fruit. Yeah. It was actually kind of cool doing the spacewalk. Just going out, being all like, oh, am I going to die out here in the vacuum of space? Mm -hmm. Am I going to be able to get back into my ship because it's so buggy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, I got that first mission done. And I was like, okay. I'll see you in 10 years. I'll, game. See, you, I'll see you in a little while. Like, how? How does that game with that budget and that amount of development time have that many bugs like well, stop with the feature creep yeah why fix a bug when you can just make another ship and sell it I for a thousand dollars stop with the feature creep no it's that's never gonna happen that's their whole model now it's just feature creep yeah basically oh <laughs> uh, yeah probably so anyways i'm not i don't know why you bought this game man i wanted to try it out but like you've already played eve online <laughs> which <laughs> i did, didn't like which eve you online. didn't like so no, this but, is just like this 3d is, different. is it yeah, is it's it, more, what's the it's difference between flying? It's more involved. What's the difference between flying and picking up a box of oranges than flying and firing a laser at a rock for five minutes? <laughs> Nothing really, yeah. except you get to be in first person. Okay, and you get like guns. You can and see armor. your dudes in uh, Eve Online now. Yeah, I guess you can, can you? Yeah, yeah, you get guns and armor. You go outside. You can go down to bases and kill people. Yeah, but is any tanks? of it good? I don't know. Okay. That's what I'm about, trying to find out. It's like G GTA 5, like I said. like It's always like, yeah, you can golf and play tennis in GTA 5, but it's <laughs> it's all bad. It's not good. <laughs> so. Am I out of touch with the kids today? Because I'm just like, yeah, it's only 100 bucks. Uh, Well, I mean, no, not really. That's only pretty much bucks. a millennial way to think about yeah, stuff. Yeah, I guess like, so. It's only 100 bucks. It's only 100 bucks. I get 100 Whatever. bucks. I can play this for uh, an hour and get my $100 <laughs> <laughs> out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That could have been a hundred dollars invested into getting Apex packs. Uh, it could have been, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Apex, yes, new season dropped. Oh yeah, new character comes out, came out, Newcastle. Yeah, who is a tank with a portable shield, yep. not unlike Sinatra from, or Sinatra. Is it Sinatra? Sintra? Sinatra was banned from Valorant <laughs> <laughs> from uh, uh, Overwatch. Who's got the movable shield? I have no idea. You could make up a name. Yes, In fact, I you could. just did. I gotta look it up now. Um, so his ability to like get to your allies, he can like yeet himself across the map. 
Yeah, yeah. So his alt, he can le- yeet himself. Yeah. Just like do a super leap and drop down this fortified base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a clip on Reddit of a guy doing it like from like a million miles away to pick up the banners because apparently it works on the 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 death boxes. No. Oh. So he like <laughs> just yeeted himself into the into the ring and got the boxes and yeah. like left. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, the new rank system has dropped. Everyone got hard reset. So they've added a rookie class. Yeah. So it used to be bronze was the lowest class. Now rookie is the lowest class. Mm-hmm. And when you're in bronze, you actually get to lose points when you go into the game. But you can't drop below rookie or below bronze. You can't drop. I, I'm bronze. pretty sure it's one of those things where you can't drop below bronze. Yeah. Still. Same with when you get to silver, you won't be able to drop below yeah. silver. But now, if you're in bronze four, you lose X amount of points. But if you're in bronze one, you lose more than X amount of points. Yeah. And the, the point RP points now are based on team play. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot you get for every KP. Well, team play is maybe not the way to call it, but winning yes. is where the rp comes from yes kp is uh, i've been told Minimized. it's unlimited now yeah but you it's can like have so unlimited low. kp it's low i mean you still get 25 for a win but the climb to get there is a lot slower mm-hmm. so the 25 for a win yes but it but doesn't like it matter. was like you had one two kills one assist and one team assist and you had like 12 points or something like that no you were minus 12 i think yeah i was still minus 12 and so then as like, soon as you got to 10th place you were like 30 rp yeah 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 and they've added where if your team gets a kill but you're not involved in that kill you get half the kp for that yeah so you don't feel so screwed when you're like when your team or one guy gets up there wipes an entire squad and you're just sitting in the back going oh uh well, I, I didn't I, know we were moving. <laughs> I never feel screwed when my teammates get a kill. I'm just like, oh, good. We're winning. Yes. Well, that's still good. But now you actually get KP for that. So a lot of people have been complaining about this. Like, oh, man, it's so boring. Oh, my God. This is supposed to be a run and gun fast game. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, OK, is it supposed to be, though? Like, this is the changes the devs made to the game yeah like this is the way they want the game to be played they want it they want a more tense and exciting end game yeah than it was yes i and mean more endgame, team play yeah more more team play so the end of the game before was still it was still tense but you know there's only you'd three get, teams you get like three four five teams yes. at the end depending on what rank you're in yes. so like if you were in bronze you'd probably only have three teams at the end if you were in platinum you'd probably mm-hmm. have seven teams at yeah. the end and now when you're in bronze you have 12 teams at the end yes. <laughs> and um yeah the only people i've heard really complaining about this are apers who would just yeah draw hot drop w key oh i got 10 kills off the drop but i came in 15th place oh well that's fine i went up in rank yeah yeah they definitely want to avoid that which i mean it's a team game yes like the and the game the goal is to win yeah like <laughs> it's See, not to get the most kills and then this, start a game this suits my play style way better i mean me too because i'm bad but <laughs> like it's just it's a team game it should be based on getting like if you if you get if you get a win and you had one kill, you should be, that's the way it's played. You've done it. <laughs> yeah. You should be going up in the RPs madly. Yep. I mean, you do, but. I know. You but definitely yeah, I do think more kill, now. I think kills and stuff were way too weighted heavily before for RP. Yeah. And now it's, I think it's superior, but I have also not played it. So, so far from what I've played, I really like it. Mm-hmm. But because everyone everyone got reset yeah. way more than they would normally get yeah. reset it's like i went from plat down to bronze three yeah masters went down to bronze and silver yeah i mean it's and just so, a hot refresh basically yeah yeah for sure but the thing is is like when you're destroying like what did you get in your match you got like 200 and something rp yeah and it's like you just it takes like whatever five games and you're out of the rank yeah. If you win. And oh, if yeah, you're a sure. master, you're just going to destroy and win anyway. Yeah. So they'll get cleared out of the rank fast enough. But. Yeah. Last night, a lot of people were playing. So when uh, I got a three, when my th- when the stack got to three, so I had Lex and uh, Loki, mm-hmm. the <laughs> the amount of master's trails mm-hmm. that were jumping out of the ship in bronze was unreal. Yeah. I was like, oh. It'll even out. It'll even out. Oh, yeah. They can't sure. They can't stay that low. No. Like it just won't happen unless they're no. going to go like, 
straight ape and not go for wins, <laughs> then they'll be just getting, you know, I'll get my 20, <laughs> my 20 bomb and then just <laughs> jump off the cliff or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, during the week, I was having a lot more, a lot more luck with uh, less <laughs> highly ranked players, but. As soon as Friday came around, it's like, holy. Well, everyone logged in on Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. when you were playing on Thursday night after Star Citizen, and I was just like, what is with this lobby? Like, <laughs> there's two teams fighting between two shields in the middle of the opening. They're like 10 feet away from each other, and you just come in and destroy them all. It's like, why are they fighting like that? Like, what is going on here? <laughs> I know. I just bust out the Eva 8, slap them the phone, and just slap oh, them. God, it was so crazy. Just the most ridiculous plays I've ever seen. Yeah. So they didn't improve the Eva 8 at all. No. Not at all. They no, didn't, you were like, not why is the, the Eva 8 so good? And I'm like, you're playing in the friggin' bot lobby, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing. But the Eva 8 terrible. Been, it's, it's still been slapping this season. I don't understand why. It's just because you were in a bot lobby, and they were just standing there letting <laughs> you shoot even, him in the head. Not even just that game, but, like, games last night No, well. I know, but I'm saying there's a lot of, like, bot bronze players in there that are just, like, they'll <laughs> stand players. next to each other, and, like, just some of these plays I was watching, I was like, any other lobby, you were dead at this point. <laughs> yeah. Like you're sliding through the Watson like force field and killing guys and running back out and sliding back in. And I'm like, how are you still alive? How are you even doing this? So I was like, yeah, any other lobby, you, you would slide through that thing and just be like domed. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, I was doing some ridiculous plays for sure. Yeah, it was so stupid. <laughs> And you're like, this Eve is so good. They buffed it. I'm like, dude, no. No, they didn't buff it. No, it's the bot lobby you're playing in right now. <laughs> they did. Uh, they did fix the the early early spread recoil on the havoc though, and so it just it just shoots lasers now. Oh yeah, it's so good. But Very good. Uh, yeah, well, yesterday I played too long because my aim just went <laughs> all the way down to the toilet. Oh well, it's late. Like, oh my god. What time was it when you were playing? I played till about ten, eleven o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. You need to take a few caffeine pills. <laughs> I actually, I had two, uh, two monsters, so. Oh, man. Should have had three. <laughs> I should have had three. I only had two, though. Damn. Which means I needed to buy you another one. <laughs> oh, you drank mine. Is I that what happened? I drank yours, yeah. Oh, I was like, okay. hey, I need another one. We got to okay. keep going. We got to keep the entertainment value high. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah. And then uh, the uh, I just want to talk about the DJI Mini 3. S before you even say anything, for whatever reason, YouTube was like, hey, here's the new DJI Mini 3 video. And I was like, why is it showing me this? So I was like, oh, it's probably because I watched your vlogs and you were yeah, talking. Yeah, it could be. And, but as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, my God, Mikey is just going to be <laughs> buying this fucking drone. I know it. Oh, 100%, dude. I fucking this is knew on it. my list. Oh, my God. You can use the new controller with it. With that has the screen in it, so I don't have to keep busting my phone out. Oh, I know. It into the it's damn thing. Troublesome. Oh. It's so annoying, especially when I'm like, especially when I'm doing like Ampow recording where I want to do like a time lapse with the thing, but I also want to take pictures with my phone. I'm like, oh, well, yeah. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And so now I'll be able to do that. I mean, the price on this thing is it's going to be almost as much as the DJI FPV drone, mm -hmm. which is their like first person racing drone. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's going to cost just about as much as that with the the kit, the uh fly more kit, which is more batteries and the charger. Oh man, like oh man. Why the, don't you just take out your other phone and take pictures with it? <laughs> Cuz that other phone is my work phone and it's a garbage All SE. Right, use this camera right here. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That's, but that's cheaper. a lot. That's a lot to bring. I th oh I mean, I know. Plus, I can't, uh, you know, I can't get the cool, the cool shots. What cool shots? Uh, I can't just like, and then upload to Instagram. Oh, you have to bring it home and then upload it. Yeah. It's oh right. my god. I have to I bring know. it home. I gotta transfer it off the thing. Put it on the computer. Transfer it off the computer. Put okay, it on well, the phone. Okay. Well, I guess you'll have to weigh the price cost of this <laughs> thing versus your existing hardware. Well, I also want it for the because it it shoots sixty frames. <laughs> my other drone only shoots 30 frames, and you can tell it only shoots 30 frames. Oh, my god! And this will make it only so Only you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell, but I can tell. Only and you other can people tell. out there can tell. Yeah, but they don't that care. it's not shooting 60. They don't care. And it's also, it's got uh, obstacle avoidance. It's got object tracking. It's got a 34-minute battery this time. 
Okay. And uh, it's also got interchangeable lenses for the uh, for the camera. Oh, so you can put filters on. You can put wide angle lenses on, and the lenses aren't that uh, expensive. I think they're like forty bucks. The wide angle lens. <laughs> Oh, only forty <laughs> yeah. extra forty dollars. Yeah, yeah. I am going to get this thing for sure. I knew it, and I'm excited to get it. I knew it. I knew it. What are you gonna do with your old it? one? Uh, let's see if it is a backup. Oh my god! You know, just in case I crash <laughs> in a mini three. <laughs> oh my god! Two drones in the air. Oh, ah! but you just said you don't want to put your phone in the. No, other I don't want to put my phone in the thing. I, I don't. Know, maybe I'll sell it. Okay. Maybe I'll sell it. Okay. Crash once. <laughs> yes, only crash once. Low miles. <laughs> Low Sunday miles, driver. Sunday driver crashed <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah, I am pumped to get this thing, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a fifteen hundred dollar bill. You just park it above you when you're mowing your lawn. Boom, vlog done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Crazy. Yeah, as yep. soon as I saw it, I was just like, okay, I know what's going on here. <laughs> I know what's I know what's happening. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a micro drone, so it only weighs two hundred forty nine. Mm-hmm. grams which means don't need a license for it which is perfect because mm-hmm. that means i can fly it just about anywhere what about what about when you put a lens on it oh yeah exactly oh. see now now we're thinking now we're thinking with power yeah as soon as i put a lens on it i need a license yeah son of a diddly yeah there you go i saved you 1500 bucks as long as that lens is under a gram, a gram? <laughs> as long a, as it's one gram, gram lens <laughs> <laughs> what is it made out of like saran wrap <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Good thing you brought that up. Yeah. I mean, I don't need lenses. You also don't need this drone. <laughs> I do need it, though. It's a need versus a want. <laughs> I, do I think need you're confusing it. your needs and wants here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You're yeah. allowed to want things and buy oh, yeah. them. That's okay. I'm yeah. just giving you a hard time, really. <laughs> As I do. Yes. I'd rather you buy that than a fucking box to put on your shelf for a big box video game that you were trying to buy before. <laughs> yeah, but those are cheap. Those are only like 20 bucks. No, the big box game was for the uh, System Shock remake on the Patreon or like the Kickstarter that you wanted to get. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. 150 bucks or something like that. <laughs> big box. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I'd rather you buy a drone than that. <laughs> I haven't looked into that to see if it's out yet because it's supposed to be. It's still supposed to be coming out. No, they we talked about it not too long ago. They hadn't worked on it in like three years or something. No, like but that. then we talked about it again, and they had. They, oh no, they it made wasn't, a post and it was like it's coming out. It soon. wasn't. It was System Shock Two that they hadn't worked on. No, it was the it was the remake that people were uh, talking about in the. Uh, Ow! Thing. Damn it! I hit my knee. I woke up Frank. That makes <laughs> for some good radio. Yeah, in the rev- in the in the the forums of the the system shock remake mm-hmm. by night dive yeah they're telling saying it hadn't been worked on in this many years but then like the week after the devs put out a oh yeah they did an interview and they're like oh yeah it's coming out soon it's gonna mm-hmm. be ready There's anyways so many don't systems. buy that don't buy that big box no i, I probably won't no you it'll definitely right won't it'll look right on my shelf though no no one looks at the shelf no i'm like i got my camera the wrong way no like, one, those shelves need to be over here no one's looking at this shelf i am yeah you are. I, sure I'm, I am right now. You sure are. Okay. All right. That's, uh, yeah, that's about it for me for the weekly wrap. 